The adaptable blotter comes with many powerful functions that allow you to send grid data from the client, from the blotter, to the server. We have events, we have edit rules, um, and we even allow you to perform some of your searches and filtering on the server instead of the client. So there's lots of ways to communicate from client to server. But what happens if you want to go the other way? What happens if you want to send a message from the server at runtime to the client? Well, there's two ways um, that you can do that, and they both use the Blotter API. The Blotter API is a very rich runtime library that allows you to access all the adaptable Blotter functions through code at runtime. If you go to our help, um, there's a list of them here. So if you click on the Blotter API, you can see a list of all the categories. And we're going to look at two in this demo, alert. And the first one we're going to look at is system status, which essentially allows you to set the, the uh, status of the system. It can be red, amber, green, and you can also send a message. Um, we've cheated slightly in this demo because we're, um, we don't have a server running. I'm actually just doing it through code. And in fact, I'm doing it here. I'm listening to the quick search. And depending on what the quick search is, I'm sending the appropriate blotter API. So first, let's look at these three here to set the system to green, amber, and red. How does that work? So if you go to the adaptable blotter, as I say, I'm cheating and doing it through quick search. I can set the status to be what I want. So this is the same as sending a message. So when I type red, that's basically sending a system status of red. And when you click the button, which is changed to red, you see which message has been sent. Um, you can also set the system to be amber. When you click amber, then you get a different message. Or if everything's good, you can set it to green. And then that's the default. Everything's good. And again, you've got control over what the message is, etc. So there, um, system status messages. What happens if you just want to send a message to, to the user at runtime to tell him something's important has happened or to warn him? Well, to do that, you use um, the alert. Um, again, it's all part of the Blotter API. And there's um, three or four um, different methods you can use to show a message, to show a warning, or to show an error. And again, we're cheating slightly. We're listening to quick search, and we're doing it um, through code. But obviously, um, in the real world, you would do it um, via a proper server call. So let me go back into the grid. And if I do info, then I can send a message. Now, if you're running in OpenFin, instead of seeing a message like this, you can choose instead for the message to appear in your system tray. And you've got complete control over where the message is shown, where it's stored, what happens to it. It's all audited anyway. So that's um, an, an info. You can also have a, an alert of warning which looks like this. It's orange, it shows an exclamation mark, and again, it's whichever message you choose to set, or an error, and then that's red and shows an error. So there we are, two ways of sending messages from the server to the client, one through the system status, which also shows red, green, um, a number, um, or just through the alerts, which will appear in the client either as a message or as a system trailer if you're using OpenFin as required. Any more questions, want to find out more, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.